daughter starts to uh, you know um, display signs of uh, possession uh, like she's being possessed by a ghost or a spirit so the mother is not able to find help because it's locked down and she can't go out and she can't have other people visit the house as well so during such a situation the the whole thing gets uh, worse and uh, they approach a priest in mumbai uh, who suggests doing an exorcism my exorcism ritual is where they it's a ritual where they try to uh, uh, cure people of their possession and get rid of the ghost so the uh, exorcism in bombay he is not able to come to chennai uh, so what he suggests is we'll do an exorcism through a zoom call so uh, whether they're able to achieve the exorcism ritual through the zoom call uh, or uh, was the mother able to save the daughter is what the story is about so what anupam ker anupam ker character uh, anupam ker sir plays the exorcist uh, he is the priest who uh, comes to help the family during this crisis and uh, according to the story uh, the priest is uh, is from mumbai so uh, while casting we decided why don't we go for uh, uh, some actor uh, who's who's in mumbai who has who has a presence in the north so that uh, even, even in story it's very believable usually they'll cast somebody and then they'll try to make it believe like he is from mumbai so we wanted to work with an actor who's from mumbai so that it it is very believable and uh, he's he's also a veteran actor he's so uh, uh, you know uh, he has done so many films he's, this is his fa- tamil fa- first movie i i think he has done one film before uh, called uh, little john uh, i think it came like 10 20 years ago i think it came so after a long time he's coming back to tamil and this this will be his uh, Uh, 522nd film uh, uh, so uh, so it, it is very special working with him for this particular uh, project it has no interval no yeah why did you take the decision uh, i generally like uh, intermission because uh, when i go to certain films the intermission itself is like a proper uh, cinematic moment like it's a high point where audience are left with a question and the answer is given in the second half so i enjoy such films Uh, i also enjoy films which doesn't have any interruption for example if you watch a lot of hollywood films uh, there's no intermission so when you're watching it in the theater they'll just cut it on random point and most of the time you'll be a little disappointed that they cut because you're watching the film is getting interesting and suddenly they cut the uh, the film and there's a gap so the momentum is lost so in this particular story uh, there's no midpoint the entire film is moving towards the climax so if you watch it at a string, single stretch the experience itself is very intense so when i showed the film to the production i showed it to them without an intermission they watched it in a single stretch and since it's 90 90 minutes it's easier to watch it at a stretch because a lot of films that worked in this year were 3 hours long and those films had the intermission only by the end of 90th minute or 85th minute so i thought we have the tolerance to watch a proper 90 minute film without any breaks and uh, we experience the film like that so we want to share that experience with the audience so so do you think uh, our people adopt, adopt that uh, version i have seen uh, my mother when she watches certain films uh, she she I, when i go and talk to her she said don't disturb me i'm watching it and until that film finishes she'll not want to be disturbed and she will not do anything else i i also like to i i like watching all kinds of films and there are certain films that i would like to experience without any interruption like from start to end just watch it like that and that gives a very i feel it gives a very intense experience and by the time the film ends uh, you are left with a high we just wanted to try it out uh, as an experimental uh, thing and see if audience like it if audience like it then a lot of films with this duration can come out without an intermission and the and the and the advantage is uh, you don't have to have only four shows per day you can have like six shows or seven shows per day uh, which will lead to more revenue and films with short duration will have a, a much bigger business model when it comes to theatrical release so i think this can open up a business model but we are trying it as an experiment the theater owners we had a conversation with the theater owners they are also interested to see how this goes if it works out we can also exploit this by having more shows so it is it is something that we want to try and see if it if it will be new for the audience it is designed as an as an experience more than anything else uh, the business comes later Uh, w- what is more important to us is the audience have a new experience in theaters they are coming to cinema to watch something new uh, so we just wanted to experiment with the the treatment and the way audience experiences this film so it's just a small uh, uh, initiative from our side so what is the total duration of the film the film is 99 minutes long with all the end credits and uh, exact duration is 98.5 it's 99 minutes
Uh, this this film uh, is designed to be a a proper theatrical experience with respect to sound and music, and uh, uh, if you watch it uh, on a phone or on TV, it's not the same. Uh, you have to watch it in theater for you to uh, enjoy the film to the fullest. And uh, uh, the the music for this film is composed by uh, a music director called Prithvi Chandra Sagar, and uh, his previous film uh, was Bhumika uh, with Aishwarya Rajesh. So. Uh, he has done a very good job and uh, uh, this film we spent close to 3 months just on the sound design and sound mix so that uh, the audience will be able to experience the uh, we have done an atmos mix for this film so we wanted uh, because we have the theaters have, uh, have come out better and bigger now uh, after the lockdown a lot of theaters have renovated and and they are looking and sounding better so we are making uh, full advantage of the latest uh, technology to ensure that the audience have a very good experience while watching the film. Coming into the song scene. Uh, one song is there in the film. One song. The film starts off with a song. Coming to the uh, name the ram so you need it to my and you can be more always working with this camera. Uh, I always uh, respect her as an actor and that is the reason why I wanted to work with her in Maya. Um and the film was also successful. so naturally we had a, a relationship we had a work relationship where we both respected and trusted each other uh, so for this film uh, she really liked the script so she also wanted to come come in as a production partner so uh, nayantra ma'am and vigneshwan sir produced this film together under rowdy pictures so even in this film uh, i feel the relationship and and the collaboration was better in this film because she is also the producer so she gave me the space and time that i needed to make this film Uh, she was very particular about uh, uh, the standards uh, she wanted this film to look and sound like an international film so there was a lot of uh, resources and uh, a lot of space that was given to me by the production to make sure that i make the uh, the best uh, uh, you know uh, a film possible so making the film did you take any address from vikneshwan i narrated the script to him and uh, he really liked the script uh, that was the first meeting meeting i had with him the second meeting was when we finished the film and we showed the film to them during the shoot he was not there he just said you do whatever you wanted to do as a filmmaker he understood that uh, i need to go out and and make my own film because he he would he as a filmmaker himself uh, uh, would know the importance of uh, giving that space to another filmmaker so he came back only after the film was finished he saw the finished film so in the remaining the, the middle 8 months I had the I had complete control over the film and I had the freedom and uh, and the space to try out whatever I wanted to try. The, the whole story runs in a house, you know. Yeah. How could you keep engaged people in, in that small space? When when a horror film happens in a familiar env- environment, a familiar environment being house, uh, like you know we all spend most of our time at house, <coughs> and that is our safe space. so when horror happens there it's it's much more scary than it if it happens in a graveyard or in a forest because home is where you you feel connected to the most so this particular film uh if you take a lot of classic horror films like conjuring and uh, exorcist and a lot of films all the films happen in a house because that is where a family is supposed to feel safe and when you introduce a horror element into it it immediately becomes a, a connection point for the audience we tried a lot of uh, interesting techniques to make the film uh, engaging for the audience from starting to end uh, because all these characters are from different places so there will be around four places four different places five different places in the film and they're all connected through video calls so it's not just one house the other characters will be living in other places and every one of them will be connected through video calls and the way the shots are designed is in such a way that uh, when you watch the film you don't know what what is going to come from where you're always like waiting Uh, or you you are always anxious that something is about to happen so we are trying to make it as suspenseful as possible for the audience so when they are watching it they are constantly sitting at the edge of their seat and uh, waiting for something to happen that is that is how we try we have tried to design the entire film are you believe god on the ghost concept when people ask me uh, have you seen ghosts and all that i always tell them uh, a ghost or god is something that you feel inside feel from within it is not something you can see or hear at least from my experience uh, i always feel like uh, when you go to a uh, an abandoned house or when you go to a go to a, a unknown place that you have not gone before um, uh, forest or anything 
uh, you're walking there and you're feeling something. Uh, it's very hard to explain uh, uh, that feeling. You feel like, you know, there is something, uh, we are not alone, like there is somebody else with us, but you won't be able to explain it. Uh, it's something that you feel, it's something that, you know, it's like, uh, like you know, uh, the hair on the back of your neck standing up, that kind of uh, feeling. I've had that feeling lots of times because uh, I'm, I'm very scared of darkness. <clears throat> Right from my childhood, uh, if I get up in the middle of the night uh, for water, I'll be very scared to go to the fridge and take water because I'm, I'm scared of going into the dark room. Even though I, I live in that house, during night, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling scared to go. So, whenever I visit a new place or go to a, 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 or an unfamiliar place, uh, I always have these emotions and instinct inside me. So, I think that is what I try to, uh, uh, you know, take inspiration uh, from for, for my horror films. This is your fourth horror film? Ah, third, third horror film. Third third horror film. film. They, you did a all genres like that horror film. Yeah, films, yeah. Maya, yeah. Game over. Yeah, films. yeah. So, you like it? Yeah, I, I like horror genre a lot. And uh, I feel that uh, we have um, a demand for good horror films in India. Because there, there aren't a lot of filmmakers who make... Uh, authentic uh, horror films for example uh, there was a telugu film recently Masuda. called masuda which was like a authentic horror film i have not seen the film because of my work i am planning to watch the film uh, but i heard that uh, it, it is like a proper horror film without any commercial compromises it's like a proper horror film from start to finish so i think there is a very good market for such films in india because when hollywood films like conjuring and all those films release here they do extremely well irrespective of the language or culture Everybody connects with it, everybody watches those films. So, I feel like we have a huge demand for uh, such films in India. Are you interested uh, to do films with Telugu heroes? Oh, definitely, because I really look up to uh, a lot of actors and directors here. And uh, I constantly try to uh, watch Telugu films. Uh, because I, since I don't understand Telugu, if it releases in Chennai, I'll wait and see if it has subtitles. So, I saw recently, uh, Ante Sundarniki I saw with subtitles. I really like the film. Uh, uh, okay, okay, G with them. I, I saw that film. I saw uh, 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 Sita. Uh, uh, Ram. I, I, I saw. I saw that film. Triple R, obviously. Uh, I saw the film, and uh, these films are very inspiring for me because uh, they are also constantly trying to push the boundary. And even in the mainstream circle, they are trying to do something different. So uh, even in Tamil, we are we are trying and attempting that. So uh, I think Tamil and Telugu are uh, Tamil Telugu Malayalam. I feel. The South Indian industries are becoming very healthy now in trying out different uh, films and all that. I, I And I hope that actors from uh, Telugu work with Tamil filmmakers, you know, actors from Tamil, uh, they're already working. They're already making a lot of films. So, I think this kind of healthy collaboration should happen. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, why Nainitara for this role? And do you approach any other heroes uh, for that role? Uh, she was the first person I I considered for this role because I, I worked with her before. I know I know what she's capable of and uh, this film she has to play a uh, mother of a teenager teenage girl um, and uh, even in maya she played the mother of a uh, of a child and uh, she's, she since she trusts me um, I, it is easy for me to go and approach her and she's also a very good actor so i wanted somebody who who has the depth in in the performance who can uh, who can kind of you know hold the audience's attention for uh, 90 minutes with just performance even if she's sitting and talking something your your attention is completely on her she has that kind of a presence so i feel uh, as an artist i really admire her and i i respect her work so that is why i wanted to work with her again releasing in telugu tamil hindi ah tamil and telugu it's releasing on uh, uh, december 22nd hindi it's releasing on december 29th no i want to do other genres now I want to I want to try and see other things as well because I had other ideas before also. But what happens is uh, when you make a horror film and it becomes successful, people don't That's want right. producers don't want to try other things. They want to make more horror films because it's safe. Uh, but uh, uh, this film was conceived during the lockdown. If lockdown was not there, I wouldn't have made this film. Uh, it was uh, I, I got inspired during the lockdown. I wrote the script. Now lockdown got over, uh, uh, but the script was conceived during that period. I still feel even if, even after all the COVID infection is over, I still feel there is so much of uh, emotion and there is so much of loss uh, that we need to process. And I think this film, what it's trying to do is to give hope to people uh, uh, that and and kind of 
uh, you know, uh, assure them that uh, we have crossed a very big crisis, but we have come out uh, better and we'll, we'll have a better future. So, I want this film to give hope to a lot of people. So, that is the main intention behind making this film. Uh, Tamil and Kannada directors are coming to Telugu, Telugu directors are coming to uh, Kannada, Tamil. So, what's your opinion about this? Uh, I think all the uh, filmmakers from every state should work with, uh, with other uh, uh, language actors and producers and all that. See, that kind of collaboration is very healthy because uh, these are all very unique voices. So, when, when somebody from, from Tamil goes to Telugu, they'll take their sensibilities, they'll take their uh, uh, voice and their, their style and everything and it'll be very fresh for the Telugu audience. And from, when, when somebody from Telugu comes and makes a Tamil film, uh, their voice will be so unique that it'll be fresh for Tamil audience. So, it is actually a win-win situation for both the audience and also for the director and also for the producer. So, uh, and also the industry becomes bigger. So, a anybody uh, should be able to work with, uh, so the, the thing, I think even before lockdown, this thing was slowly going away. So, in India, I think earlier there was Bollywood, Hollywood, Tollywood and now it's all like everybody is working everywhere. So, now it, the respect for talent and the demand for talent is very high because the demand for content is also very high. So, people want to see good films, people want to see good stories. So, I feel if you have a good story, you can take it to any producer in any language and you will be able to make the film. Earlier, it never used to be like that. Now, you can approach anybody in India and they'll, if, if, they're, if they really like the script, they'll do it. The language is not an issue anymore. So, I feel right now, I'm, I'm very fortunate to work in a situation like this where uh, there are so many options in front of me to go and make my film. Who's your family I had a very interesting uh, meeting with Nani Garu when I, I came to narrate Maya to him, Mayuri to him uh, during 2013. I met him almost like 9 years ago. Usually, when I meet actors and narrate the script, uh, uh, they don't react much. They'll just listen to it and they'll say it's good or bad. When he was he was listening to the script, he was actually reacting to me. He doesn't know me. I've never met him before or he has not met me before. He doesn't know me. I don't know. I, I have not met him before. He was so nice to me. He was so nice to me. He listened to the narration and uh, he, was, he was emotional and he said, if you did not have a producer, I'll produce this film. He even offered to produce this film and uh, uh, I had a wonderful meeting with him and also specifically the kind of films that he does in Telugu, I'm a huge fan of his work. He is somebody I feel is constantly trying to experiment and, and try different things. So he is an actor that I really want to work with. Do you have any script for him next? Uh, I, see, uh, what happens is, uh, for, him, for me to approach him, uh, I want to write such a good story that uh, it will justify his talent. So, even for this film, when we approached Anupam Kersar, uh, I was very hesitant because he has done so many films. Like, I should, I should give him something that he has not done before. And also, I should give him something that justifies his talent. For Nani Garu, I want to pitch him a story that is that, that, that kind of uh, justifies his uh, talent as an actor. So, but I definitely want to work with him.